Now to tie the part shrimp, I'm going to be using a uni thread in red, in this case it's a 8 -oh. The 8 -oh is a finer thread, it's slightly easier to tie with. The hook I'm using is a Salar size 7 gold double, which is an excellent hook again, suits this fly. Use whatever colour hook you would like, and whatever style, it's up to yourself. Now for the tag and for the rib, I'm going to be using a medium oval gold tinsel. Now I've taken the thread halfway down, now I'm going to catch in the oval tinsel on the top. I don't mind doing this with a double because it has a flat surface and that will not pull out. Now, once the thread's in line with the point of the hook, I would take down three to four turns with the gold oval tinsel. Now bring the tinsel between the hooks. This locks in the tag, stops it pulling out. Now what I like to do is run it up, thread up, fold this back for the rib. Usually run it halfway up. The body's in two colours, gold light bright and black floss, so that's the halfway mark for that. Now for the, the tail I'm using here, this is a very good, this is the bottom section of a fox tail. Arctic fox, it's been dyed a really hot orange. Very short and soft. You could use Arctic Runner. I believe it was originally used in the fly, but this is an excellent sub. Now, length of the the tail's in three parts, in here anyway. I'm going to be using the full length, the orange, the body for the underneath. Just catch it on, a couple of turns or so to hold. Next tie in some yellow bucktail. Now you could use Arctic Fox. I just feel the bucktail will last much longer. But if you want to make it a wee bit more mobile then you could use the Arctic Fox. Let's get the length. Tie it on top. Now the length of the, the bucktail is twice the length of the hook. And twice the length of the hair. Now for a bit of flash I'm going to use here, this is some Crystal here and pearl. Now we've got three strands. This is going to be in the, the wing as well. You want the strands the full length of the tail. Stand it on top. A couple of turns to hold. Now it looks a bit of a mess just now, but we'll tidy it, tidy it up as we go. Just moisten these fibres, the crystal flash, and set it back in your desk. Hold them together and it allows you to pick it up for the wing. Again, get some more of the, the Arctic Fox dyed orange. Same length, same length as the hook, over the back. Just tighten up. And at this point, take your thread turns down a bit. Now, what I like to do is come in here, get the length of the body. Now, you could slightly cut it at an angle, which will help taper towards the head and lower the wing a wee bit. If you do that, if it tapers towards the head, you can lower the wing. Now you have to concentrate on tying this down as quick as you can, all the way up, and then bring it back down. Now you could use a gold tinsel body on here, instead of light bright, and tie it up to yourself. This is a gold light bright itself. Just put it on like a dubbin. Nice and tight. Slide it up. First, or, first second, a turn or so. Just check to see where it's sitting. Making sure it's tidy enough. Normal back. black floss for the second part of the body. Catch it on the side. That's the length you're looking for. Bring your thread up. And again, just make a nice body. Now you need at least a good 3mm from the eye to tie in all the materials and there's quite a lot so you need to get your proportions correct bring your rib up through at this point all the way up 
get to here, come across your thread, a good half a dozen turns of thread in. Now what I like to do is to cut maybe a centimetre away from the area where I want to tie it in and fray it out and trim away the excess then. Saves bulk if you do that, especially if you're going to put a lot of materials down. And it actually makes much stronger as well. You could get a piece of velcro and velcro some of the, the light bright out if you want. I'm going to use some Arctic Fox dyed black. Lengthwise, looking towards the tips, coming into the tail itself, into especially the orange area. Let's tie it down. Nice two or three turns to make sure it's secure. Come in and trim away the excess. Before you do anything, I would tidy yep. up. Get your crystal flash again. Just lie it full length of the, the wing. All I used to do is get two or three turns in, fold it back two or three turns over the top, keeping hold of these ends, then trimming them away. You can slightly lower the flash by just rubbing your fingers on top. This is a Chinese cock dyed yellow. Just folding back the tip. As you can see. Now what I'm doing here is just really one turn in front of the other. Looking for probably depends on how good the hackle is. With this hackle here I'm looking at maybe you can see three to four turns. Spring it up, cross the thread, put a 90 degree bend into the stem, and then tighten up. You could fold it back, but I'm not. I'm just gonna trim it away. Draw anything going forward, just draw it back and then tie this down. Bring your thread back up, ready for your next part. Now I'm with two jungle cock eyes. You, basically what you could do here, you could tie the length of the shank, or half the length of the wing or so. So take two, remove the fibres I don't want, just pull them back. Just get them on the side, make sure they're the same length. Hold them, two or three turns. At this point you could check to see that they're on the wing, and that's exactly where I want them. And obviously they're the same length. Take your thread down, fold these back, tuck them back. The fly will last much longer. You can hold your thread tight and break these off. If you don't want to break them off, just trim them away. That's fine. Now for the front hackle, I'm going to be using a Badger Hackle dyed hot orange. It's a great hackle. You could use normal or just straight through orange if you wanted. But the Badger Hackle seems to work extremely well. Now I'm going to tie it in by the tip. You only need a couple of turns. Three or four turns down, fold back the tip. And then come back up. Make sure this has got a nice nice head area, a nice no lumps and bumps, meaning if you go to wind this hackle and you need any lumps, it will not sit for you. Now I'm going to fold the hackle back. Just fold it back. Now you only want a couple of turns. Not, don't want to overdo it. There's enough dressing on there. Come up, bring the thread with you, put a 90 degree bend into the thread, and then come round two or three turns. You can take the thread down, anything going forward at this point you can draw it back, bring the thread from the front and up once you're happy. Stop at this point and have a wee quick look. I want to put two or three more turns down the end. Let's come in now, keeping the thread tight, wet finish. Four or five turns anyway. Trim away your thread. Trim away your hackle. Do it like this. Don't, sometimes I'd break them off, but in this case, when you're finished, just cut it away. And there you are. That's the famous part shrimp. Originally tied by Ross McDonald. Now, two or three coats of varnish and then that's your fly finished. Work it all the way around.